Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about five ways to make money from your DJI Mini 2. And you're only going to need one thing. Let's get into it. So the DJI Mini 2, as we know, takes excellent photos and videos, but it can also be used to actually generate money for yourself. I'm going to show you five ways, breaking it down, how you can make your money back from this drone within one week, and then you can continue doing the same process over and over again to generate more and more money. Now, the best thing why I'm actually using the DJI Mini 2 for this example is because it's under 250 grams, you can use this drone to be able to generate money without commercial insurance. I'm going to get in at the end of the video about the different rules and regulations depending on where you are in the world, but in the UK, especially we can fly this drone in more areas as long as there's no crowds or anything there where you can't fly such as airports or football stadiums we can make money from this let's get into it so the first one is hotels now with everything that's been going on over this last year hotels private businesses are either just about opening up or they're going to be opening up really soon now they've been struggling for the last year with everything that's been going on. So they need to generate as much advertisement and marketing as they possibly can, but they might not have huge budgets. Now there's no point going to the big hotel chains. They will probably have their own drone marketing team, so avoid them, but find the private venues and hotels in your area that you live. This hotel, for example, has been closed for a while now. And a quick look on their website and I can see that they've got no decent aerial footage at all of the hotel. So I can make a quick video showcasing the view from the sky, take some nicely composed photos, and then I'm going to take the time to edit both of them and then reach out to them directly. So what do you do when you actually contact the company? So when you contact the company, you want to reach out to either their sales or marketing team. You want to include the photos and videos. The video should be at 4K quality. And this is where you're going to need that one extra thing. You're going to need to pick up some ND filters. This is a relatively inexpensive accessory for this drone, but you can use this time and time again and actually generate money back from these filters really quick. But I use ND filters every single time I go out flying the drone, whether it's an ND16, 32 or the ND CPL filter. Every time I fly, I always use an ND filter. This allows me to get that nice motion blur, but also be able to use the manual settings and get the exact shutter speed and ISO that I want. Something which you just can't do in auto. So actually using some ND filters is gonna get you that best quality. But ND filters definitely help. The ones I use are linked in the description below as always. So go and check them out if you haven't picked them up already. And then you want to then email them to that company and you will get probably one of three responses. You will either get ignored completely or you will get a contact such as, that's really nice that we've got our own team or at the moment we don't want or have the budget to actually purchase any content. But in future, we will look at uh, contacting you. And then that's a way then to provide them with your contact details. Or three, they might really like it and they actually contact you then about, yeah, we would actually like to use your footage. And then that's when you can then discuss price. If you're just starting off, you don't want to be too cheap or too expensive. Around about £50 per photo is a average price to be charging. It's not too much, it's not too little. And the video from a £100 up to a 1000 when starting off for the actual video clips, again, is acceptable or you could also use the option of don't charge anything and then they might actually really like you and then there's more chance of you working for them in the future so we touched on this in part one and this is now instagram instagram is a great way to get your content out to thousands of people really fast so if we use instagram as an example for the example we did before where i photoed and filmed that hotel we could then use that on Instagram. You could post that on your own site or you could set up a own site like Drone Photography US or Drone Photography UK. And you could include these pictures and photos on your own site. But what you wanna do is you wanna put the at handle and then the actual handle of the company which you're actually trying to get the attention from. So if it was Bob's Hotel, Florida, you want to include it on your Instagram and then within the title you wanna put excellent photo or excellent video of this or stunning location at Bob's Hotel Florida. Hashtag Bob's Hotel Florida. Now doing this for big companies is pointless to start with because they will have thousands and thousands of people doing this. So for instance, 
Disney or Universal, there is no point taking a drone photo of anything remotely and then contacting them because they will have thousands of people doing this all the time. So again, use smaller businesses, smaller hotels, smaller private venues. Do a bit of research, go onto their Instagram. Do they have any drone photos? Do they have any aerial photos? Do they have any marketing material of anything where it's aerial related? If they don't, then that is a niche and there's a gap there. And that's who you should be trying to contact. 10, 15 minutes on Instagram, checking a few, maybe five or 10 hotels, private businesses in your area could generate those answers really quickly. I recently did this on a camping trip we went to. I just was flying the drone about. I got three nice composed photos of the actual campsite we were in. And then once we left, I contacted the company and said, great trip this, it was really nice. I just wanted to show you some of the photos we took. It might be helpful for you in the future. Sent three of the photos over and they actually loved them that much. They wanted to buy them and they offered me 400 pound for the three photos. They've used them then since on their website. They can use them wherever they want, but I got 400 pound, which was actually more than the cost of the one night trip away. So what do we charge if they actually reach out to us? 50 to 100 dollars a pound is the good, good way of actually generating some money for yourself and not being too expensive for the company. Bigger company chains are gonna have bigger budgets. You can charge a lot more, but they're gonna have, they're probably their own team. So again, it's contact the small companies, start small and then grow as you get better and you become more noticed. If you're gonna provide a video for the company, again, depend on the length of it and the quality, are you gonna be editing it or are you just gonna be filming the videos and then sending it to them? So again, it makes a big difference, but again, between 100 and 1,000 is the average price to be charging for a promotional video for a company. So another good way of generating money is by using online photo apps. So sites such as Dronestock, Shutterstock, IEM are free sites when you could upload as many photos as you want. And if they are good enough, they will be moved to a marketplace and sometimes then onto partner sites. So I recently did this with an IEM account. I set a few different accounts up. I set a drone account up and then I uploaded a hundred photos. Now out of them photos, five of them sold. So that was less than 10%. So it's not great, is it? But if we just use one example, so this photo here, I actually uploaded, I took it on the DJI Mini 2. It's a nice photo here, it's composed well, there's a bit of color grading on it, it's using an ND32 filter, and then this actually sold for $18. Now this doesn't sound groundbreaking at all, but it sold seven times, so that netted me $126. From just that one photo. DJI Mini 2 also has great framing tools within the actual settings so use them to your advantage. I always have the framing markers on to make sure everything is lined up brilliantly. All right fourth point we're nearly there Etsy. So this is a great site online where people from all over the world are making and selling their own homemade or custom items and a customer can go on anyone who wants and buy them. So you can create a free Etsy shop and then what they do is they take a cut of the actual selling fee and then they charge you a small listing fee as well. So I went to Etsy, I set a shop up, I got these nice photos from Blackpool here and then I actually uploaded them and I included the option of actually buying them as a just a poster print which cost me £11 for the actual print or an extra £5 and you could have it in a frame. And I sold the poster print for £30 and I sold it in a frame for £36. In the first week, I sold nothing. But then a few days later, after that, I then got notifications saying your product has sold. So for some reason, I don't know whether it's an algorithm or getting out to more people, it might be a delay because you're new. But then I went back on and this photo here sold 17 times. So we've just break that down. So the cost of it to actually take that photo was the drone the ND filter, my time, plus the £11 for the actual cost to print that photo. But that sold then for £30. A £1.80 fee from Etsy, plus a posting cost of £3.50. So I made £24.70 on that one photo. But that sold 17 times, didn't it? So that netted me £419. Now I thought that was a brilliant example for this because that is the actual cost of this drone. So that one photo, aside from the AND filters, but that photo, I got the revenue back for this drone alone. Right guys, the last point is going to be estate agents or Airbnb. 
look for smaller companies within your area, smaller estate agents. Go onto Facebook, check them out. Is there any which don't have a bigger debate database as other companies, smaller ones? You don't want ones that have been here for 50 or 100 years unless they are here and they've got a big budget, but they're not using any aerial photography. Reach out to the person selling it on Facebook. Reach out to the seller or the host or the owner on Airbnb and ask them if they will be willing for you to take some photos for them and then show them their results. You can then discuss a price and this could be very desirable for a house which has been on the market a long time with boring standard photos. So reach out to the estate agents as well and they will actually say no we've already got our own team or actually they're pretty good could we use them and then you could then discuss a price and the price again is going to be the same as what we've covered in point one and two 50 pound 50 dollars for a photo up to a thousand for a video now if you've got a house which is selling for over a million pound they're going to be willing to pay a decent amount for some extra cool images or you know creative images of their house if they've just got the standard stock photos from the outside from ground level a side photo and then all the rest are interior shots and they've got this massive back garden or a great landscape or they're in a really nice area with a brilliant view and it doesn't showcase that view they're missing potential customers and they're also not advertising their property as well as they should be. It's the same with Airbnb. If it's Airbnb, you know, we look at it, scroll through here, and some of them haven't got the best photos, they're a bit crap, or there's nothing of the view, or it says spectacular view in the Cotswolds, and we can't actually see that view. We've just seen a iPhone photo within that person's kitchen of the view. It's rubbish. Get a drone photo within that area, showing that view send that to the person you know you could use this on your airbnb countless times as many times as you want it only costs you 50 pound well that's only 50 pound for that one photo send them five photos send them in a video they could then advertise and show people what it's like to actually stay or live in that area charge them more for that the potential to make money through estate agents is phenomenal and airbnb as well more and more private sellers and buyers are willing to pay money because they want people in their property all the time. So I hope you found that helpful guys. We're just gonna quickly now discuss some of the rules and regulations in relation to this and what else you could possibly need depending on the country that you're in. So in the US, it's pretty clear. The FAA states if you are generating money from your drone, this includes a Mini 2 and this includes making money on social media, that includes YouTube, you're gonna make money from your drone, then you need to fly under the part 107 rules and you also need a remote pilot's license. So if you haven't already got that and you want to generate some money from your drone, go and get that first, get that ball rolling now. In the UK and the, and the EU, it's a lot easier. Since the new 2021 rulings, if a company is going to be using you all the time, so if you're working for that company, then you will need commercial insurance. If you aren't working for that company, you're just working for yourself, you either contact that company saying, look, I took these photos earlier on today, I hope you like them, let me know if you want to use them for your uh, marketing material. Then you do not need commercial insurance because you're working for yourself. You're then selling them photos to that company, you're generating money from you, but you're not working for them. So all you then need is third party recreational insurance, which can cost as little as 30 pounds for the year. So let's put it aside. So each of those contents there that I've listed them five different ways could all make you between a hundred and a thousand pounds for each point per place or per example. The drone's gonna cost you 419 pound. You probably wanna get the fly more combo so you've got more batteries so you can actually film and create more videos and photos for these companies. You wanna pick up a set of ND filters and then you need to actually have some kind of insurance depending on which country you're in. So relatively small setup cost, but potentially you could be making a lot of money. And this is why the DJI Mini 2, again, is just awesome. Get your money back for this drone. If you don't have to, you just wanna continue flying, then that's brilliant. But if you can make some money as a side hustle as well from this, that's even better. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Go and test this out. Let me know what you think and go and make some money from your DJI Mini 2. Take care, guys. See you all soon. Bye-bye.